My name is Jay Gordon. I'm a cloud advocate with Microsoft Azure. We just finished up Build 2020. I want to talk about my favorite new product that was released at Build. And that's Static Web Apps for App Service. You get the ability to create a static website like Hugo or something of the like. And what you can do is easily deploy it using GitHub Actions. You don't have to write any of the YAML to actually do the deploy. So what I'm going to do is show you how to deploy one of these static web apps for Azure. So let's get into it. One of the really cool things that came out of Microsoft Build 2020 were static web apps. And right now it's in preview. It's free. Um, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to do today. So we're going to show you how to deploy a uh, Hugo app. Hugo is the world's fastest framework for building websites. It's a static site generator. Um, it's fairly easy to install and configure. Um, if you look at the docs and installation, um, installation is, is fairly um, available for almost every single major operating system. So if you go on install Hugo, if you do what I did, you used Homebrew. Um, but there are binary installations, uh, all the things you need. And if we look here in our terminal, uh, you can see I've got some old stuff here. I'll clear it up. If you look here in my terminal, uh, what you can see is uh, I've got Hugo help. So I've already installed Hugo. And uh, working with Hugo is really simple. Uh, Hugo init. Hugo uh, creates stuff for you, creates a framework for you to go ahead and create your files in. And now if we look here, we've got, uh, I've already kind of created this and you can use this particular code. It's in a repo on GitHub. I'll have it in the links. So if you want a site like this, if you want to create your own, uh, what you can do is you can go to uh, the Hugo website. Uh, you'll follow the configure Hugo site also. There's some documentation on how to deploy a Hugo site uh, with static web apps uh, on the Azure documentation. Uh, we'll take a look at that in the, uh, in the comments as well. So let's first talk about what we've got here. I, I mentioned to you that I've got a little website here. It's just a website about my dog. Um, it's all static. And what we'll do is we'll look at it here uh, on the uh, on the GitHub side. So if we look in content blog, what we'll see is we've got markdown files. These markdown files are eventually rendered. Uh, those are turned into HTML. And after you've turned it into HTML, uh, you can then serve it as a static site. So you don't have to have any dynamic content or anything like that. You just serve it uh, just like you would in an index.html file, right? So uh, let's get into what we're going to do and how to get it deployed on Azure. Now, the really great thing is, is that the GitHub Actions work that we're going to do, and I'll show you some previous runs I've had, uh, it's all going to work for us automatically. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll go into Azure. We'll click Add. And we're going to uh, create a resource group. So our resource group will be called, I'm going to name it after my pug, Rico the Pug. And I'm going to pick the region of US, and that's just where our metadata and our resource group will live. Create, we'll go to the resource group. Great. So now we are in a position to start creating resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create our Hugo blog in uh, Azure on a static web service. So uh, let's take a look at what we've got here first. Uh, we've got this static site. We've got all these elements in here. We've got categories that get built, XML, all this basic stuff uh, that's ready to go. We've got some images that I've created. Uh, and then once I'm ready to kind of make changes and build, so let's say I've gone ahead and let's go to Rico update here, which is uh, one of the pages I've already created. What if I update this to say, um, see you all soon? Because Rico wants to see you. He's a cute little pug. So what we'll do is we'll save this file. Then I'm going to do this. I like doing my git stuff in the terminal. So let's just clear this so you can see a little git add Oop. git commit minus m new info about Rico. So I'm just going to put this in a public repo, but you could use a private repo. And it's just as effective. So git push. Okay, 
So we've gone ahead and we've updated our blog. Now let's go ahead and start deploying it. So I'm going to click add. I'm going to search the marketplace and just type static web app preview. Now what's really cool is that this is right now in preview and it's free. So if you want to run a really low end website, just do some updates. Maybe you've got a project you want to update people on. It's super simple. So we're going to enter a name for our, uh, we're going to, like I said, we're going to pick our uh, subscription. We're going to put this in our resource group, which is Rico the Pug. And then we're going to give our app a name, Rico the Pug. And so if that's free, it will create a fully qualified domain name for us. We'll pick where it's going to be hosted. I'll pick East US 2. The SKU is free. Like I said, it's free right now. So the next part we're going to do is to sign in with GitHub. So we'll click sign in with GitHub. I've already authenticated my GitHub account. If you have it, it'll bring up a username and a password request. Uh, you'll do your 2FA and then you'll set your GitHub uh, account. So uh, my account is Jade Estro. We're going to go to the organization, which is Jade Estro. Once we're finished with that, we're going to go to the repo. So the repository is Rico Info. So I'll select that and then we'll pick the branch. Right now, we're going to build master. If we wanted to use an alternative branch, we could do that too. So now we're going to go to build and we're going to talk about what we need to build. So there's uh, the app location. We want to leave it in slash the main directory. That's where we want it to be hosted. API location. There's no API. This is static site. The app artifact location. Where is everything going to be stored when it's public? In public. We don't want to uh, specify uh, a, a directory path. We just want to say that we're going to call it public. So that's where it's going to serve files from when it all goes live. So we'll click review and create. We can save a downloaded and download an automation template for the next time we want to create another one. But now we just click create. So what's going on? Right now, we've just committed a new file. Let me show you what it was. So git pull. See that? Azure Static Apps created this uh, little bit of YAML right here. Let's take a look at what it is now. So we'll refresh here. We'll go to GitHub. We'll see it created a workflows directory and then this static app CI CD. So what it's done here is it's actually created a GitHub Actions job for us without us actually having to configure anything. Um, as you can see, it's got the build and deploy process in uh, all the configured YAML, tells it what it's going to do, what to do after, and where to put the website. So what we can do is go to resource, and we can see right here there's a workflow file and GitHub action runs. So let's click on GitHub action runs. And what we're going to do is see here in GitHub actions where either you want to look at it from this file or, or I should say direct uh, website, or if you want to go uh, back to your repository and just click actions here. Either way, you're going to see what recently happened. So let's go and see what happened when I uh, went ahead and pushed that latest commit. When I added that YAML file into, uh, or I should say Azure added this YAML file into .github workflows, uh, that is a trigger for uh, GitHub Actions to start building uh, what you've created in that file. So what we did was build and deploy a job and we've got logging so we can watch what happens. So we set up the job, then we actually run our CI, we build our uh, application or our static site. So you can see it grabs everything, which is an image uh, and starts it, tests it that it works, checks out the uh, config, make sure everything works. It builds it, deploys it. As you can see, here's all the information about when it did the Hugo run, the pages that it generated, and then the copying. So let's go to complete job and take a look what we have. So we can go to the URL and it's ready to go. Our website is up that fast, that quickly, I didn't have to stop this video. I didn't have to do anything. We just went right through it. The blog post, an update on Rico. So Rico's happy and he loves you. That's great to hear. But what if we want to update what Rico has been doing? So we'll go to Rico facts uh, and we'll say 
You'll go to Rico app. Day. See you all soon. Oh, that didn't get rendered yet, so let's do that. So see you all soon. He loves you. So CI CD is set up. So right now, all I have to do is save this file. After I save this file, all I should have to do is Hugo. It's rebuild. Uh, it rebuilds our pages. Then git add git commit minus m and we'll give it a message and we'll say update on rico git now i'm going to put this up so you can see what's going on and you'll completely get it so let's watch this page git push okay so every time a push to master happens what happens over here We start a new build. This is automatic. It will always happen. So what we'll do, we'll go to update on Rico. Uh, we see now our build and deploy job, our close request job happens. So it goes through the whole process once again of CI, uh, packages it up, and then deploys it right to that Azure static site. So you can see it's already almost finished with our entire deployment. And it's so quick, it's so easy. And so this is one of the great things about Azure uh, static sites is that uh, static web apps is that you can just start building things very, very quickly right now for free and, and just really enjoy the, uh, the simplicity of using this. So here we go. This is the last build. And uh, yep, yeah, here's everything. We've got everything to go. Uh, we are ready now to continue using uh, our website. We can customize it a little bit more. We can change the environments, add some functions. Uh, we can add a custom domain. So if I wanted to add, say, uh, www.ricopug.info, what I can do is go here. I'm just going to open up a new tab. I've already got uh, a host configured for that URL. So what I'll do is I'll go to the Rico Info DNS record right here. And what I can do is update the C name. So I'll click the C name right here for www. We can go here, grab this value of the, uh, the host name that's configured automatically by Azure. Let's go back here, sorry about that. Let me refresh this real quick. Cool. So we'll go to www. We'll update the alias to our new alias. We'll save it. And then after just a few minutes of propagation, we'll be able to go to ricopug.info and use our fully hosted domain name with either this temporary or our full one. So uh, let's look at it again one more time. We've got our workflow file right here in GitHub that does all the work. And Azure does the rest by doing a build and eventually serving the website. That was really easy. And that's one of the reasons why I love this new service. You can go ahead, deploy your new application, have a full continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline configured, writing GitHub Actions. You didn't have to write any YAML. It's really awesome. So if you want to try it out, get $200 worth of free Azure credit, take a look at different docs, or you want to just say hi check out this link. I'll see you next time. My name's Jay Gordon.